Okay, so here we are on Port Old Meadow near Huntingdon by the river. Uh, it's a lovely day, it's probably a bit bright, uh, not very really that easy to see my screen. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go fly. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so here we are. So this is... Yeah, up to 12 meters. Let's take it forward. Yeah. So this is me flying my Mavic Pro, hope you can hear me, on Porto Meadows near Huntingdon. It's a water meadow, so it floods sometimes during the winter. I'm flying a Mavic Pro drone. Uh, neat little uh, drone that fits inside a, uh, a small, a small uh, rucksack. Uh, it's quite portable. So here we are in the middle of the port home. Some people, more or less to ourselves, there's some people walking dogs, but I'm well within the the safety code that the, uh, the CAA requires. So 50 metres from people, 50 metres from cars, 50 metres from buildings, and not over built up areas. So that's the sort of basics. I'll give you a quick look. Of, I'll, take this, I'll take this out a bit so that I'm not straining my neck. Let's go a bit further forward here. And of course, the further out you go, the further, the higher you can go without, uh, without obstruction. So that's me taking, it's, it's flying out from where I am. Let's go up. So the rules are that you've got to keep it within visual line of sight or VLOS. So let's give you a quick look around. So ahead of us, we can see God Manchester and the river. And you can see the church spire as well in God Manchester. The tree line is roughly where the river is. As we come around, you can see the, uh, the bridge over the A14 and the houses, the river of Great Ouse going underneath it. You can see the houses along the uh, edge of the meadow. Coming around, you can see uh, the bridge that, I keep, that you walk onto the meadow from, which is where I came from. Um, and you can see me. <laughs> Let's just take a, uh, a snap. So there we go. So let's also then go around a bit more. So that's looking more towards, uh, on the road towards Brampton. And just in the distance there, you can probably see the railway line. So that's the, uh, that's where we are. Let's do a, a little bit of a, a bit of a drive around. So let's go forward. So we're going forward. What's quite difficult today is that the, uh, the sun is quite bright. It's quite difficult to see the controls, but I'm following that, so that's me going out. Let's go, so effectively I'm doing a circuit, flying to the left. The uh, drone has actually got a range of seven kilometers, but actually that's not really practical in terms of visual line of sight, because it's such a small drone that you'd lose sight of it. Sometimes when you're out at distance, you do need to check the screen just so you got the orientation correct. So there's the... We're heading now towards the, the river. Let's just take that out a bit. And let's come back now towards me. Don't know whether you can see me or not. Let's have a, get ourselves on the right track. So here we are.
it's more or less deserted here. There's a couple of uh, roads I just got to keep clear of. We tend not to, we tend not to uh, get involved if you're careful. You keep well away. There's a big one coming here. Oh, there we go. Missed him. What I'll do is I will. Hope you've had. A, hope this gives you a good view of uh, around Port Home. I'll bring it. I'll actually take it. Let's take it out of the. Uh, let's do a landing, but let's get up out of the sun. The. The weather today is really nice, uh, but sometimes too much sun is a problem. It is today, it's very sunny. So let's bring us in here and level up. And then we'll bring you down for, we'll, we'll, we'll come down and then we'll fly in for landing. Okay, so here we are. I've brought the drone down quite low now. There's absolutely no obstacles around here, although the the the, uh, the drone has obstacle avoidance when it's flying when it's flying forward. It's got a forward speed of about 40 miles an hour. If you've got it in sport mode, but I tend not to do that. Uh, the device has a 4K camera, uh, which is fully gimbaled. It's got 24 core processors, and it's got about 13 sensors. So it's a very capable little drone for a drone that you can almost put in your pocket. So I'm going to be bringing it down to land now. I don't know whether you can see, but I've got a, a sheet down. So I'll stand back a bit, get it into space. I've got automated landing on this which I've used on my first flight but this time I'll land manually it's a good idea to practice all your different uh, all your different approaches and just trying out all the different functions is really quite important as well because this is it's quite a complicated beast and when you've got um, live streaming going on at the same time there's a lot of things to pay attention to the most important of which is safety of course So let's probably made my landing pad a little bit small, but let's bring it on. So. Now I'll take it left. Reverse it a bit. coming down. I'll point it towards me so you can see me. And wave. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, I'm getting some, some information now that it's... I'm an obstacle. It's telling me that I'm an obstacle. So if I get out of the way, right, I'm, not, I'm no longer an obstacle. Let's try and bring it down there now. So we're, we're quite stable here. Low battery warning. Okay, I'm getting low battery, so it's dead on time. Landed. So, second flight.